today I'm going to share with you a quick tip to fix discoloration, especially with product shots in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's get started. Have a look at the canvas of the shoes. It is just so discolored, right? No uniformity in here. How do we fix that? Pretty simple. Make a duplicate of the background layer by clicking on the background layer right over there and then press Ctrl or Command J to make a duplicate. Let's name this layer average. Why average? Because we're going to take an average color of the bright areas and the dark areas or in other words, the highlights and the shadows. So let's just zoom in. Now we're going to make a selection of the areas which are similar in color and also similar in brightness levels. So select the lasso tool from right in here and let's make a selection of this area for the highlights. Once you have made a selection of that patch, how do we get the average color? Pretty simple again. Let's go to filter, blur and then average. Now we have the average color, press Ctrl or Command D to deselect. Now for the dark areas or the shadows, you can choose anything you like. We can choose this patch or that patch. It's absolutely up to you. Now for me, I'm going to just make a selection of this area and then go to filter. And the last applied filter will be at the top. Just simply click on that. Now we have a color for the dark areas. Now we're going to sample this to absolutely and entirely color the entire canvas of the shoes. Now before we move on to the next step, it will help if you have a selection of the product or you can also just paint it all over with the brush, but selection just makes it a little quicker. To create a quick selection, select any of these three tools, the quick selection tool, the object selection tool or the magic wand tool. Once you select any of these three, with the later versions of Photoshop at the top, you will see select subject. Now this might not be very accurate, but it's pretty good to get things going. Now I have taken a little more time to make a little more precise selection with the pen tool. You can just build up on your selection. You can use the pen tool. You can create a manual selection. That's absolutely up to you and depends upon how much time you want to dedicate here. Once you have this selection, click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose gradient map. Now in the gradient, have a look. The left hand side has black and the right hand side has white. And we have a gradient from black to white and therefore the image looks black and white. The gradient map just basically paints the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights according to the gradient you create right in here. So for the moment, let's just turn it off. Now select the gradient symbol and not the mask, otherwise it'll sample the color from the mask. Select the symbol from right here. Click on the gradient bar. Now we will sample these colors and we'll create a gradient of those. Now, it'll overall color the shoes according to those samples. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? All right. So for the right slider, let's bring it a little bit to the left and double click on it to bring up the color picker. And let's just sample this color. Make sure sample all layers is checked and sample size can be five by five. Now notice that the brightness level of the color is 61% for maximum accuracy because this is the main color. Let's also set the location to 61, right? For the shadows, we'll do the same thing. Take the slider a little bit to the right. You can also single click on the color right there to bring up the color picker. Pick this color and hit OK. I feel that it'll need a little arrangement here. You can just put it at 35 because the brightness is 35. You can also set the location at 35, but I feel that it will need some adjustment. Hit OK right now. You can turn off the average. We don't need it anymore. Let's turn on the gradient map. I know this looks awful. Why? Because we only want the color from it, not modifications in the brightness level. So simply change the blend mode from normal to color. Now it's looking uniform, but the color just isn't looking right. This is when we need to go back and adjust. So double click on the symbol of the adjustment layer, single click on in here. And then I feel we need to bring the dark areas all the way to the left hand side. Now it's looking more and more natural. You can also play with this diamond right there to control the distribution of this color. You can also create your own color. Click on this, click on the color. You can just increase the saturation a little bit more to make it look a little more exciting. That's up to you. Now this is looking pretty fine. Hit OK, hit OK again and have a look at this. So here's the before. See, it's so discolored. Here's the after. Now, if you feel this has too much saturation, which I feel it is, you can always go back and decrease the saturation. 
if you wanted original colors that's up to you absolute original colors hit okay hit okay again and there you go here's the before all the discoloration look at the purple patches here and there and here's the after everything cleared out now at the moment there are certain areas which are also being painted blue like the base of the shoes and also the metal areas right here so simply create a group of just this one layer so with the gradient map layer selected press ctrl or command g and create a mask for that group otherwise we don't want to disturb this mask this is a beautiful mask so create a double mask so with this mask just zoom in take a soft round brush black as the foreground color and just simply paint out these areas as simple as that there you have it similarly do the same thing right here there you have it look how natural this looks now similarly you can do the same for the base you can also select the quick selection tool just come back to the background layer so that it can detect those areas just select those areas and simply select the brush again go back to the mask and paint those areas in black and it's done my friend pretty good isn't it so here is the before have a look so much discoloration and here is the after so plain so nice so fine and so luxurious similarly you can do the same thing for the background so now we have the selection of the shoes we can just hold the control or command click on the mask to make a selection and for the background the background can have just one off-white color so click on the adjustment layer icon and then choose a solid color and let's choose any color for now hit ok and bring this layer at the very top okay now we want the background to be colored by it so select the mask press ctrl or command i so that the background is painted simply turn it off for the moment double click on the symbol and just sample this color all right hit ok turn it back on and change the blend mode to what to color and there you go now it looks so natural now this area looks a little off no problem just come back to the mask and just fine tune it you can actually use the same technique to remove the yellow tints from right here as well but the more effort you give the better the results are going to be and that's pretty much it for this video all you have to keep in mind is first of all make a duplicate of the background layer and take averages of the bright areas and the dark areas and using those averages create a gradient map mask it in properly and also change the blend mode of the gradient map to color and don't forget to turn off the average you can use the same technique for all of the different colors in your image by the way if it's just a small area let me just quickly turn everything off if it's just a small area you need to fix simply just create a blank layer change the blend mode to color just sample an appropriate color from around an area and start painting it fixes that area and for every area you can do the same thing like for instance for this area we can sample an appropriate color and it begins to look good now the only challenge with this technique is that uh, for the shadows it can get a little tricky that's when gradient map really does it smoothly but for small areas little corrections this is a better technique in my opinion i hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you don't miss any other future tips tricks or tutorials i'll see you in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating